What's up, everybody? Welcome to week eight of the NFL season and the FanDuel Hurry Up. I am Brandon Gadula. I'm the managing editor at numberfire.com, and I'm going to be breaking down my three favorite stacks for the week eight main slate. My favorite stack of the week is an easy one. It is the top 90th percentile stack in terms of raw FanDuel points, but also value uh, for me for, for this week in my simulations because Stephon Diggs just has a really low salary of 7,300. Uh, Diggs is sixth among all receivers and expected FanDuel points per game on the main slate, and he's actually underperformed expectations, meaning he should have some regression coming his way. He's got a 26% target share, 33% air yard share, 3.6 combined high leverage targets per game, so downfield targets and red zone targets. The Dolphins' bottom five adjusted pass defense uh, against wide receivers. And as for Allen, it's kind of a weak quarterback slate, and he's the one guy who can really bust things open. So very obvious stack, but I don't want to overthink it, and we can differentiate within our lineups in other ways. For my second stack, I'm going back to a quarterback I recommend a lot. It's Jalen Hurts. It's actually worked out every week because he's yet to fall shy of 20 FanDuel points, and his passing efficiency is significantly better in his career with Lane Johnson back on the offensive line. This week, he's in a dome against the Lions, who are 31st in adjusted pass defense based on number fires metrics. They're also 32nd in yards per target allowed on downfield passes, and yes, that once again puts Devontae Smith in play, but I like Dallas Goddard as a stacking candidate as well for this week. Goddard fills the tight end role that we need on FanDuel, and just five targets last week for Goddard after the team traded Zach Ertz, but more importantly, four of those five targets were at least 16 yards downfield. That gives him an 8 out of 18.3. It's pretty crazy for a tight end. It's a great matchup, so uh, easier access to get to Jalen Hurts if we go with Dallas Goddard for the week. For my third stack, uh, it's a little bit strange because I've been targeting run-first quarterbacks for virtually the, the entire season. Matt Ryan is not that, but we don't have a whole lot of rushing quarterbacks on the main slate, and Matt Ryan has really ticked up in recent weeks. Uh, he has thrown for at least 243 yards in all five games since week one, and at least 283 yards in four of the five for an average of over 300 yards per game since week one. Multiple touchdowns in all those as well, and his air yards numbers are way back up uh, over the past three 9.1 a dot over his past three well outperforming the nfl average i'm totally fine with kyle pitts at tight end at 6800 but i also like calvin ridley uh, to stack with matt ryan ridley has an elite 27 percent target share in his games played plus 40 percent of the air yards and if you weight the downfield the red zone work that he gets and add that to his target total in terms of expected fanduel points he is second behind only cooper cup in weighted targets per game so the Falcons, I think, are trending back up. They're back on the, the menu for Week 8. And so Matt Ryan, Calvin Ridley, and, and Kyle Pitts all in play for Week 8. That'll do it for my favorite NFL stacks. Best of luck in Week 8. Let's double dip on those touchdown passes on Sunday. Mm -hmm.